Hello everybody, this is Yugi, um, and I'm back again with another video, We're doing a little bit of a character update. So, some of y'all may know, some of y'all may not know, I've been gearing up this Paladin for quite a while now actually. Um, ever since I last made the video, I think it was like last year during Destiny when I got a 250, then I like kind of stopped making videos already on the Paladin. Um, but we're back. So basically, this Paladin has been going through quite a lot that I haven't really recorded or shown on stream that much. So I guess maybe it's a good time for me to show y'all what I'm doing with it and uh, give y'all an update. So, you know, <laughs> people won't be so confused by this Paladin when it actually liberates. I am doing liberation on this Paladin, I will say first. Uh, this Paladin is already through liberation. Um, I can show you the quest that it's on, I guess. Uh, one second. Ah, there we go. So, we have done all the way up until Damien, so that means we've done a... First one was Volneon, then Arcarium, Magnus, Lotus, and now Damien is also done. So, five missions done already. Uh, I just need to do Black Mage for this month, and that will be that will be the uh, mission for Damien completed, because I already soloed Damien for a Liberation mission. Uh, that means we're only left with Will, Lucid, and Hila. So, three more Liberation missions, which I plan to do all in one shot next month and the month after, so November and December. And uh, basically, this character will liberate in January with the final with the final Black Mage clear being in January. So very pog, we have a liberated uh, Paladin soon-ish. Um, I can show you guys a bit of the stat. So basically, I didn't record any of the runs that I did for liberation mission. I was too lazy, honestly. Although maybe I should have. Uh, but this is basically the stat that I've been rocking for liberation missions throughout the entire. Uh, throughout the, the past five missions basically I didn't borrow any gear I didn't cut any gear for um, the Paladin's Liberation not yet at least because for Will, Lucid and Hila I don't think that I can do it with my current stats so I'm probably going to cut gear from my main over to the Paladin so that I can attempt the Liberation missions but for now uh, this is a stat that I have and this is what I basically soloed up until H. Damien with uh, it was fairly okay um, I believe my Lotus run was like 26 minutes, 27 minutes, and the Damien run was all the way down to the last 30 seconds, so like 29 minutes for Damien. But in the end, we managed to do it uh, without having to cut any gear, which is great because that saves me quite a lot of money. I don't need to cut my gear around so much for uh, for this Paladin's Liberation. So we're about 30k stat. Uh, we have a ridiculously high amount of IED. We have 96% IED. Uh, we only have like 200... 300 plus percent boss and damage percent added together. Uh, although with guild skills, that changes obviously. It's another 60% from guild skills. Um, the rest of it is pretty standard crit damage, all that. And about 2,969 nice attack with 69%, uh, 69 nice uh, attack percent from my gear. So yeah, that's the main gear. Uh, th sorry, that's the stat with the gear on. Uh, this is also a Maple Warrior without combat orders. Uh, we're about 30k stat. Inner ability hasn't changed. Uh, inner ability is pretty much perfect, except that you know we're missing like two percent boss slash damage percent. Maybe I'll use black circulators next time. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Depends. Also, the paladin is two sixty now, so it's. I haven't actually trained the paladin um, ever since I left it at two fifty a while ago. Uh, I've basically just been throwing like extreme growth potions. Ah, uh, not extreme. Magnificent growth potions, MGPs at the paladin until it finally leveled to two sixty. Uh, which is nice, it's good that it's 260 because New Age is coming and I want this character to be 260 for New Age so that we can get the Origin skill as well as the Mastery skill for the Paladin. Um, yeah, basically once New Age comes, this Paladin will also do 6 drop, will obviously get the Origin skill and then afterwards, uh, from 6 star there's actually a... Uh, for the 6-star reward itself, there's actually 3 Soul Erda, which I plan on, I think, using them on this Paladin because Soul Erda is a lot easier to grind in Reg Server than... Uh, than uh, what was it? Soul Erda is a lot easier to grind on Reg Server than Erda Fragments, and it requires you to grind specifically, like Soul Erda you need to grind for it. So I'm already going to grind on my main, so I realized that the Soul Erda is probably useless on my main because you have more Soul Erda than you know what to do with anyways. And... Uh, my Paladin, on the other hand, I don't really plan on grinding that much, so uh, might as well just use the Soul here and then get the Mastery skill up to a level. Because, like, you get the Origin skill for free, but you don't get the Mastery skill for free. So yeah, uh, hoping that we can, get the mastery, uh, we can get the Mastery skill for this Paladin with the Soul that they give us. 
that will probably help quite a lot for the liberation mission because next month when we do Black Mage is when I have to do Will and do Sit at the same time. So uh, that's also when New Age comes. Hopefully New Age comes with six jobs straight away on the 15th of November. That will be great because then I can get the Origin skill and the Mastery skill and I won't have to worry so much about uh, Liberation Mission. I think it'll be a lot easier with six jobs to do Will, do Sit and heal out all three of them with six jobs. So yeah, uh, we'll see about that. Anyways, uh, if you all want to see the gear, I can slowly mouse over everything. I'm using two trash totems, although I do have you garden totems farm, like a few of them, but I'm not going to use these until it's actually time for liberation mission because these expire. So yeah, I'm not going to use them until liberation mission. Um, we have 21% on Tenebris with 2% strength airport. We have 20, 18% on this eternal flaming. I actually tiered this up using uh, the event ring scroll from... Six star as well, so and got two line on it, so it's eighteen percent, uh, eighteen percent strength now. Um, there's a twenty-seven percent awake ring, which is nice. So basically, all event rings here. Um, I didn't invest into DKR or Meister, so yeah, it's fine now. It's it's actually perfectly good. Um, we also have uh, RR three. This is one of the bigger upgrades that I got. I decided to buy an RR three. Uh, previously I was using when I first started this character, I was using a weapon jump three. But I realized that since this character is strong enough to basically solo H. Lomian, although I run a duel with uh, with Moon now, um, you know, we have a little bit of a dating going on every week. But, you know, it's, since it's basically strong enough to solo H. Lomian, I might as well get RR3. And I plan on soloing H. Lomian anyways after New Age. So, yeah, uh, RR3 is good. Um, we also have Pink Holy Grail, 40 and 6, nothing too special. Uh, Machinator Pendant, 9% strength, 2% airport, 15 star. 40, 20 and 6 flame, it's okay. Uh, Dominator Pendant, 56 and 4 flame, and 50, this is a China Dom, so it's the fake one. 15% strength and 6% crit rate, it's not bad. As in, the weakest part of this about this character is probably the eye accessory and the pendants. Uh, other than that, everything is fine. This is, uh, the, the weapon is an 18 star, 3 line <laughs> unique weapon with a tier 6 weapon attack and tier 5 damage. Um, I should... I, I'm not pl uh, also, also the airport is 9% attack I used uh, sus airport cubes to get that I don't plan on upgrading this anymore uh, I could like go for higher star like 20 star but or 21 star but I don't really need to because like I said this paladin is basically only here to liberate and then once you liberate you don't need this anymore uh, you have a liberated weapon so 22 star liberated weapon for free big upgrade over this current weapon so yeah I, I, I don't plan on touching the weapon at all uh, we have the belt, it's 18 star, 40 and 6 flame, 9% strength, 10 attack at pot. Uh, the absoles are all 17, no not all 17, this one is this one is uh, 17, the rest are 18 I think. So this is 36 and 5, 9% strength, 10 attack at pot. Uh, yeah, I plan on replacing this with a Fafnir helmet in the future, either replacing it with a Fafnir helmet or like cutting my main's Fafnir helmet over once I go Eternals. I don't know, I'm still undecided on that, I might want to replace this with Eternals by itself anyways like 17 star eternals as well maybe uh once i you know 22 eternals on my main i might want to do 17 eternals on the paladin i don't know about that yet uh think about it <laughs> anyways we on okay this is the, one of the bigger upgrades one of the newer upgrades we are 22 star penombre mark um i made this myself i started by starring like uh shiny red meister symbols and 20 starring them then transfer hammer to penombre and tap the last three stars basically i don't think it blew up I don't think it blew up a single time, which is great. The flame is decent. The main part is 15% strength and 10 attack at pot. Pretty good. I also have two set Dawn, as you can probably tell. The stellar earrings are also there, so we get an extra 10% boss and 10 magic attack and 10 all stat from this. Uh, Aqualeta Eye, one of the weaker pieces that I have right now. I haven't had much luck dropping uh, Black Beam Marks on this character, unfortunately, so it's been stuck with Aqualeta Eye for quite a while now. Um, was thinking about either Papu Mark or just... 20 star eye patch. Uh, I mean, eye patch. Sorry, 20 star black bean mark. Um, but whenever this character drops a black bean mark, I guess I'll star it again to 20 star and hopefully it goes and we can use it. Uh, Papu mark, probably too much of a waste on this character, so I don't plan on going it. Basically, the plan for this character, uh, I'll talk about that later, anyways. Um, we also have the Eagle Eye Warrior Armor. This is 22 star. Don't ask me why it's 22 star. There was, a, I think, two Shining Star Forces ago. I just clicked this for fun and somehow it went to 22. So 22 Eagle Eye Warrior. I haven't even traced it properly yet. It's still 30% traced with one remaining slot to be traced, which is kind of dumb, but 
whatever la. it's 22 star it has a bunch of weapon attack it's pretty good uh, 18 star Fafnir 40 and 6 flame 9% uh, 6% strength and 2% strength airport um, it's okay all of this is 30% trace by the way I haven't 15% trace any of this I'm too lazy or rather it costs too much money la, to do to do it for Epso and for Fafnir's uh, we also have Epso shoes this is 45 and six, 45 and 5 flame uh, 18 star also which is not bad uh, 9% strength main pot and 2% 2 percent uh, all stat add pot and 10 strength next we have Estella earrings these are quite a nice flame 57 and 5 flame uh, it's also 22 star so it's the total of 102 weapon attack uh, I believe I used okay so this one is prem ward this one is fully prem ward if I'm not wrong uh, it just lacks one slot um, and this one is also prem ward the first two slots are prem ward so another four slots to go so I'll probably do the prem warding of this during new age when we get more prem wards from the boss coin shot uh, it's 12% strength main pot and 2% strength that pot 22 star pretty good so this is my two set dawn boss uh, I probably I'll consider going Daybreak in the future, like 19 star Daybreak maybe, or maybe even 22. I might tap it to 22 just for fun. Uh, I'll think about it, but I don't know if I want to make more upgrades. I'll think about it once we, I actually liberate and I get a good gauge of how strong this character actually is first before I make any changes to the gear. Okay, moving on. Uh, we have 18 star Absol Bastion Pauldrons. These are 18 star. I don't think the scrolling is anything good. I believe I just 30% traced it. Oh no, there's no scrolling at all. Never mind. <laughs> 9% uh, strength main pot and 10 attack at pot. Uh, 18 star bastion gloves. These are 9% strength main pot and 4% strength at pot and 10 attack. It's also 61 and 4 flame, which is not bad. Uh, also not traced. Also 30% traced, by the way. Everything's 30% traced. Uh, trash lidium heart. Don't look at it. It's trash. 18 star bastion cloak. 6% strength, 10 attack. Um, 45 and 5 flame. And we have the secondary. This secondary was quite lucky. I don't know whether to call it lucky or unlucky. Because like I tiered it up during the last event. Uh, it started off at UU. And then I tiered it up using the free event cubes during DMT. Like the 15 free event cubes during DMT. And it hit L. Then I've just been throwing like random airport cubes at it. Until it hits 18% attack. Until it hit 80% attack rather. So I'm keeping the airport. The main port is still unique. But I've been throwing random black cubes at it also. La. So it's now 30 boss and 30 IED. Uh, maybe I'll tear it up during the next during the next uh, DMT. Maybe not. I'll think about it. Uh, it's quite good though, as a as just a secondary by itself. Uh, we have a Bond Red Medal, pretty nice it's MVP Red stuff, obviously. Crystal Venter's badge and the emblem has is the same from last time. Also, it's thirty five and thirty and nine attack, uh, and fifteen percent attack airport. So as you can probably tell, most of my gear is not that great. It's not like twenty two or whatever. Um, but the WSE is quite good. Or should I say the secondary and emblem is quite good. The weapon is like okay lah. It's not that great. But the secondary and emblem is pretty good. The only other things, um, other 22 stars that I really have are the Penombre, Estella, and the Eagle Eye Warrior. Um, but yeah, that, that was basically enough for me to do my liberation missions uh, up until, up until uh, Damien. So pretty satisfied i'm glad that i don't have to invest too much more into this character for it to be able to liberate basically i just need to cut a bunch of gear over uh probably my my mains acs uh arcanes over to this character like four part arcane and then maybe a pendant uh maybe my frontier my frontier pendant because that's that doesn't have a peace uh peace limit and uh should be enough to liberate i think this character when i attempt will lucy and hila will probably be about 40k stat if not 41-42k stat, uh, which should be good enough to liberate with. Hopefully. Hopefully. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, that's basically all the gear that I have to show you guys. Um, for future plans, this character is probably post New Age at the very least. Uh, and maybe even post, uh, post liberation. I definitely plan on soloing H. Lomian at the very least. Um, H. Lu will. I'm not too sure whether I can solo Definitely not post New Age, but like with, with the current gear that it has, I don't plan on like uh, keeping the ACS on my main, obviously, here. So um, I don't know if it can solo H. Lomian post Liberation or not. Definitely not post New Age, because there's not enough of damage increase. But post Liberation, maybe, maybe. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll look into it and see whether or not it's too much of a hassle. I don't want to spend like 30 minutes every week like fighting one boss and then doing another 30 minutes for another boss. Like 30 minutes for Will, then 30 minutes for Lucid. That sounds very terrible. <laughs> it sounds like a big waste of time. So if I need to, I might 
uh, I might end up duoing H2 Will. And uh, for C10E, we, I also have a party plan with uh, Moo and Sally, so uh, it's going to be a uh, Dating plus Third Wheel. That's our party name. I don't know. Uh, that's the name I decided on. Haha. <laughs> Anyways, so that uh, that that's probably going to be the party for C10E. So basically, this will be a C10E meal all, all the way, um, but not solo, obviously. It's going to be a, a duo or trio all the way. Um, in terms of gear upgrades, that, that's why I've kind of been holding off because I'm quite sure that this character is strong enough to solo H. Lomian already. Like, that one's a given. Especially post New Age and post Liberation, H. Lomian will be like less than... Pretty sure both bosses will take less than 25 minutes. Um, but I don't know how much of an upgrade or how much more upgrades I should be making on this character so that it's able to do certain other content. Like if I want to solo H. Lu Will, I'm not exactly sure how much more I'd put in because I'm not sure about how much of a power spike I'll get from Liberation and from... Uh, from new age yet from six job yet so i'll decide once i get there if i'm close enough to being able to solo h do will comfortably then i will continue to make some upgrades so that it will become a faster run now obviously uh things that might happen are things like a daybreak to replace this machinator pendant like a 19 or 22 daybreak not decided yet either one 19 or 22 daybreak for this machinator pendant that will be a big upgrade really really big upgrade uh, other thing is probably to swap all of my gear to Arcanes, um, like all of this. Because 18 star Absols are fine and all, but if I really want to like commit to making upgrades, I might as well do them on Arcanes instead of doing them on Absols, right? So I do have like a couple of Arcanes prepared, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I have like uh, this, which I 15% traced the last uh, 30%, uh, the last the, the last Sunday, which, which had 50% off spell trace. And also this, which I kind of halfway spell traced and I kind of gave up. <laughs> so I might make the switch over to Arcane sooner or later. Um, not 100% decided yet on that. I mean, it will be a slow process uh, to swap it over. And I don't know how much benefit it will bring me anyways. Eventually, once I hit a point where I feel like it's worthwhile to upgrade them, I'll upgrade them so that I can solo H2 will and make our C10E runs faster. But yeah, that's pretty much up, uh, the update for the Paladin. Um, I don't really have anything else to show y'all. Uh, this is like, I just showed you guys my stats basically and what I plan on doing with the Paladin in the future. Uh, I also am raising another character. I'm raising a dual blade. Uh, where's my dual blade? There, here. Uh, but this character, look, it's very cute, right? Isn't it? It's all dripped out. Anyways, this character is being slowly raised by doing dailies only. Um, basically, I'm only planning on doing dailies on it until it like gets a reasonable amount of arcane force or maybe maxed out arcane force and then at that point i will also slowly convert it into a bossing mule um yeah basically you can tell that i'm doing all like explorers because <laughs> explorers will share the same cash shop i can use the lucid earrings and i can use the i can use the uh twin coupon also on them so all the drops will be nicer so yeah the plan for this dual blade i might make a separate video in the future once i'm actually seriously gearing it up um the plan for this double is to be a H. Lomian solo meal. Uh, no plans for anything higher than H. Lomian. No plans for liberation yet. Might consider liberating it in the future. Might not. Um, it really does depend. But for now, it's just a paladin liberation. Once that's out of the way, and once I'm settled with six job on my main, and I'm happy with all my hexa stat levels and my six job levels for all my cores, then I'll start thinking about you know uh, set a third a third character to do H bosses on. But yeah. Uh, other than that, I've actually pretty much abandoned all the rest of my characters. I Kana obviously is out of the question. I've stopped playing the Kana completely. I've transferred everything from Kana actually, like all the gear, not not the gear, sorry, but all the the TP rock and like the the fashion. I've transferred it all to the dual blade. <laughs> and uh, obviously Hayato, I don't care about the Yumo. I put in effort, but I can't. I really don't like playing Yumo, so Yumo is out of the question. Night Lord, I've kind of given up on, also I don't really like Night Lord's playstyle. It's quite boring to me. So yeah. Next highest is uh, Dual Blade. I think I, I quite enjoy playing Dual Blade. It's not bad. So that's something to consider for the future. Anyways, uh, that is all. This is kind of running long already, this video. Thank you guys for watching the video. And uh, I will see you all in the next one. Have a good one.